means that there is there are people, there are voices, and there are people like Anand Murthy who have a conviction and are able to speak about it. Absolutely. And when when artists speak up, that is the most important uh, sign. When artists are snubbed by a government or by a regime, it means that something is going wrong somewhere. And people like Anand Murthy have always fought against the regime whenever it has tried to stifle a voice, whenever it has tried to stifle art. So I guess we need people like him who dare to speak up, even if it's controversial. So what? You have to have different opinions. Absolutely. I think every single person can learn a thing or two uh, from this legendary writer. Uh, Ms. Arundhati Nag, you knew him very personally. He was someone, as you stated, would come for so many plays, uh, would probably be the first one to also criticize it if necessary. But what do you think is the one memory uh, that uh, is so significant for you that you believe pretty much defines who you are, Anand Murthy, is? Sorry, baby, I can't hear your voice. It's completely garbled. Completely garbled. Ms. Nag, if you can hear me, uh, one comprehensive memory, the strongest memory you have of you are Anantamurti. Well, we'll get back uh, to uh, Ms. Uh, uh, Nag there, but uh, uh, Ms. Arundhati Nag, who knew you are on Murthy on a very personal level, explaining what it feels like for them. It's a big loss. In fact, uh, so many people we have called, uh, they've broken down in tears, unable to believe that this man, who is so great yet so humble, has passed on. Of course, uh, as Ms. Nag said, destiny has its own way, and even someone as great as you are on Murthy could not fight destiny. And uh, the hope is, of course, that he's passed on to a better better world. Well, I remember uh, Anand Murthy is uh, uh, survived by his wife, his son, as well as his daughter. These are no doubt trying times for them. Uh, Anand Murthy has been a pillar of uh, sorts. Uh, someone, of course, even at 82, who was so active, uh, believed in being active no matter what, even though he had so many ailments. There was no question of him going ahead and shunning away. Well, we're once again joined in by theatre artist uh, Arundhati Nag. Ms. Naga, when we were earlier speaking, I was asking you, what do you uh, believe is the best memory you have, have of him, the memory that defined who you are, Anandamurthy, was? I guess it is that sparkle in his eyes. He had big eyes and the sparkle in his eyes and always immaculately, neatly dressed. And him walking into Ranga Shankara and always he never failed to tell me how beautiful the place was and what a lovely nerve center it was it gave me so much courage always to have a senior person like him walk in beaming absorbing the whole space and then sitting erect in the auditorium and watching the play and going out as an extremely happy and satisfied person so for me that is my memory of the man, Anant Murthy, always, always encouraging and saying that, when, you know, in the days when I was trying to raise money and it was so difficult, he would always say, don't lose heart. The dream is a big one. Don't lose heart. Well, uh, Ms. Nag, you've definitely formed some wonderful uh, memories of URA for us as well. If you could explain what was his love for literature like, uh, I'm sure we couldn't uh, go ahead and probably define it here, but any experience that pretty much told you that this is how passionate he is about literature, this is how passionate he is about the arts? I have not been able to make out what you're saying. I, do, I think I don't have... Something's wrong with that telephone line. I can hear your voice, but can't make out your words. Miss Nag, uh, if you can uh, hear me, uh, what was his yeah, love for theatre yeah. like? Hello? Miss Nag, can you hear me? Yeah, now I can. Right, Miss Nag, what is the kind of love that you are, Anath Murthy, had for theatre, had for literature? Did you ever see the kind of passion that he had for it? I think that's. That's a given. You are talking to me right now about Anant Murthy because he is a literature 
because he is an erudite man, because he is a thinking man. So I don't think that question really demands an answer. He was passionate till the very end. He is one of the greatest writers we have had in modern literature, post-independent India has. A great thinker in Canada, in English, equally equally fluent in both languages. I guess that's the mark he has left. It's a, it's a very tall order for the next generation to follow. Ms. Naga, what do you think is the one thing about you, Aranath Murthy, that will be so greatly missed? That will be? What do you think it will be? What, sorry, what is the one thing about him that will be? That will be sorely missed by every single person that they will feel is missing. I guess the people like this, you just they become, you begin to miss them a little later. You begin to realize that, hey, where is that voice gone? Where is that voice that dared to be different? Where is it gone? Right, Ms. Naga, if you could just stay with us, so we've got some big news coming in. Pro-Hindu activists celebrate the loss of you are Anantamurthy. Around 20 people celebrate in Chikmagalur the fact that uh, you are Anantamurthy has passed uh, away. Ms. Arundhati Nag, what is your reaction to this? It's so shocking at a time when we're talking about the passing of a legend, a man who's contributed so much. This is the kind of reaction a few activists, pro-Hindu activists, celebrating his loss. Well, they're doing what Anand Moti might have wanted in the, in his heart of hearts. It's a full life, it's a rich life, and I would say that they are celebrating the man. He was so great that they could they can celebrate him. Ms. Nag, uh, there are so many times when uh, you are Anand Murthy has probably said something that society didn't uh, agree with. There's so many a time when uh, people went ahead and raised slogans against him, protested against him. Do you think Anand Murthy was the kind of man who was so strong that nothing mattered to him? He just had to voice his opinion and that was it. Absolutely. That is what we need. We need people who are able to stand by their convictions. We need people who can speak out for themselves. I mean, even if, even if they're a minority, even if they're seemingly on the wrong side of the platform, but it's important. It's important that people who are knowledgeable take a stand. Ms. Naga. Very important. Absolutely. He was not, he was not uh, just a part of the crowd. He was an opinion maker. Having said that, uh, Ms. Nag, was there ever a point when he actually criticized you, criticized your work? Sorry, lost you again. Hello? Ms. Nag, can you hear me? Ms. Nag, can you hear me? Right, uh, we'll get back uh, to uh, Ms. Arundhati Nag there. But uh, some wonderful memories coming out, speaking to all uh, these uh, writers, to people who personally knew you are Anantamurthy. But uh, something that Ms. Arundhati Nag went on to state, there may be pro-Hindu activists out there celebrating uh, the loss of you are Anantamurthy, but this is something that he possibly could have enjoyed. He believed to the core about democracy, and this is what he stood for, that uh, come what may, you can go ahead and voice your opinion but uh, of course 20 people celebrating in uh, Chikmagalur we have to keep in mind uh, uh, of course that he has criticized uh, time he has created controversies and uh, these activists now going on to state that he had criticized Hindu idols and that's why he passed uh, away this is mere uh, uh, shallow mindedness to say in uh, the least at a time when we are all celebrating the legend these pro Hindu activists have decided to nitpick pull out uh, a small issue should blow it up and decide that they will continue to celebrate their legends passing. It is understood that they are bursting crackers and they are going ahead and criticizing the same.
And uh, of course, uh, this is uh, from uh, Chikmagalur. You can see uh, uh, that crackers have been burst out there. It's shocking to say in uh, the least. Uh, we're all talking about uh, the country being in mourning, the world being in mourning, and you have these people out there going ahead and uh, celebrating uh, the death of U.R. Anantamurthy. And the reason simply because he has dared time and again to go ahead and voice his opinion, whatever it may be, he's gone ahead and stated it. And these activists, about 20 of them, coming together and stating that the reason he passed away is because he criticized Hindu idols. This was bound to happen, of course, considering that he wasn't a favorite of many people. Remember, he has made many statements uh, that hasn't gone down well with the people in the state as well as the country. It's led to large-scale protests, but this is exactly what you are on the Murthy stood for come what me he will continue speaking his mind whether people liked it or not he believed in democracy he believed in people coming out and expressing their views uh, as Ms. Arundhati Nag put it uh, this is possibly a dedication to him of sorts uh, if he's up there somewhere he would probably be smiling at this and believing that people actually had the heart to go ahead and speak their mind even at this kind of a time but uh, having said that of course uh, it's not something that uh, many people will appreciate it's something that will lead to a lot of shame it will lead to many people hanging their heads in shame that a man who's contributed so much to the country a man who has uh, written so much who's such a, a well-spoken person a lively energetic person is being criticized even after his death and not for the works that he's done not for uh, the kind of contributions he's made but for the controversies he's quoted these people of course have been identified as pro-hindu activists uh, you are anandamurthy has made a very uh, controversial comments in the past as well he's gone ahead and uh, spoken about uh, hindu idols about uh, hinduism about worship uh, as such and this hasn't gone down too well uh, with these people in the past they have protested time and again but now uh, this is definitely take, taking things to a whole new level uh, despite his controversial statements there's no doubt that uh, uh, Anantamurthy is someone who has to be celebrated, who has contributed and it looks like they have forgotten that core point. This is, of course, uh, from Chikmagalur, where about 20 pro-Hindu activists have gone ahead and celebrated the passing of U.R. Anantamurthy. I uh, beg your pardon, this is from Mangalore where uh, uh, they are celebrating uh, his uh, particular passing. We understand that they are bursting crackers and uh, several of them were also seen going ahead and stating that the reason he passed away is because he criticized Hindu idols. Uh, this is, of course, uh, uh, something that you could state uh, is being shallow uh, at a time when everyone's mourning, going ahead and uh, giving their uh, dedication, talking about the kind of contribution he's had to society. This is what it's come down to. Well, we're joined in now by Professor Purnima, who was, uh, in fact, a student under U.R. Anantamurthy. He was her guide for her research paper, is what we understand. Professor Purnima, uh, you could probably share some beautiful memories with our audience, uh, with U.R. Anantamurthy. If you could go ahead and share your most memorable experience with the man. Yes. Um, I was his student when I was doing my MA in English in the year 1971. Mm -hmm. Later in 1991, I registered for my PhD under his guidance.